Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my tutorial on Twitch. Um, I promised this tutorial some time ago now, but the reason for not actually uploading uh, a tutorial on this matter was because around the time I recorded the first tutorial, I wasn't actually a big Twitch streamer. I had experimented with certain things such as um, the, th the features I mentioned, like the chat, and uh, I did a few uh, broadcasts. Um, I didn't really have many viewers at the time, I have more consistent viewers these days and I've had feedback and I've also come across problems myself and I found that the best way to create a tutorial would be to learn uh, the kind of issues that you would face if you was actually streaming. So basically I found that the best alternative to this would be to uh, you know learn from a field test such as actually broadcasting yourself and I now have um, some solutions to some of these common problems some of which include uh, issues with the green screen which I will cover in a separate tutorial dedicated to all the practical elements uh, for studio based setups like because anybody can stream on Twitch you would think that you wouldn't have such a uh, professional setup it's completely dependent on the user's preference. Some people don't mind just streaming with a webcam and uh, and maybe a chat or even just the webcam on the screen and the gameplay. Um, personally, I like to keep other things up on the screen so that people feel like they have a more connection to what's happening live, such as when someone follows, it comes up on the screen, everybody can see it and you feel like, you know, obviously you participate in the stream and the same goes for the chat as well. Uh, one big perk about having the chat on stream is it's saving the chat. Um, because of the way Twitch works, uh, the chat is separate to the stream itself. If you don't save or if you don't display the chat on the screen, it won't save um, any information that was recorded that day. So if there was any funny conversations and you wanted to keep that, it would be all lost and people wouldn't really know uh, what happened or exactly what was said and what was so funny or ridiculous or whatever. So I'm going to cover some of the um, setup procedures uh, for Twitch. Now, I'm going to go in this tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how you can actually set up the uh, OBS software, which is Open Broadcast Software. Um, you can download that from the Open Broadcast Software website. You can set the settings so that you can stream. Uh, so let's see. When you click on settings, you'll see this screen. If you click on broadcast settings, you'll have the option to switch everything to recommended. Um, for Twitch streaming, you'll need to have everything set up uh, exactly in a very specific way or else it won't actually work. Um, now, there are minimum requirements for Twitch, um, and there's some requirements you can't go over, such as um, you can't set the bitrate to incredibly high. Uh, the limit is actually, I believe it was 2,500, or maybe it's 3,200, I can't remember exactly which one it is. Um, but that information is in the description below. You want to set this up generally um, as it's required and um, the most important thing you'll need after uh, having this automatically configured for you from clicking the button which is located right here there is a stream key so you want, if you want to set up uh, you want to get a stream key you want to go to twitch.tv forward slash dashboard Now you can get to this from clicking on the dashboard from your profile page, but it's just quicker to go and type in twitch.tv forward slash dashboard. That will take you to your account. Uh, if you're already signed in, if you're not, you just sign in. Um, you want to click on stream key. So once you're on the page for the stream key, you want to click on uh, show key. Um, you click this button. You'll get a warning telling you that you should not display this if anybody's watching. You're watching right now, but I'm going to blank out. You just press I understand. And then you'll have the information 
is showing up in the box where is the stream key now you want to copy and paste this uh, you can click right click and click copy or you can press control C whatever floats your boat um, and then you want to paste it control V or right click and paste you want to paste this in the stream key box and um, yeah then just click OK and that's it really uh, generally other than setting the stream key that is as simple as that you simply open up OBS you click on settings which you click the settings on the top and then enter the stream key into broadcast settings because you would have already enabled uh, encoding and all that other stuff my personal recommended settings for OBS would be 1800 uh, max bitrate with a buffer size of 2000 and the reason that I choose this is because it is probably the highest you'd probably ever need it and if you have an upload speed capable of supporting it then I would definitely recommend it however if you don't um, I would say the lowest you should ever go with twitch um, before it just gets really messy is about 1200 obviously you might have to set it lower if your net just doesn't handle that but I would say it's definitely between 1200 and 1800 max bitrate and the buffer size should be uh, up to 2000 um, you want to keep it as close to that as possible though so what I would recommend is just experiment with those values um, and then just start streaming and just do a few test streams uh, there's nothing wrong with some test streams in fact I would highly recommend doing that and another big thing that I would recommend is uh, preview your streams um, when you uh, first start broadcasting it's kind of good to get used to the feel of seeing yourself on the screen um, whether or not you've done uh, broadcasting in the past with different different things um, it's kind of interesting just to see how you look to the viewer on the screen and uh, get used to switching the on-screen stuff such as the, the different scenes just sort of um, I don't know uh, do a little acting pretend you're streaming to an audience um, and yeah just do that I mean it's pretty much exactly the same as actually streaming because when you actually stream the only difference is people see you and they'll be talking in the chat room and all that stuff. Enough of that talking. Let's get to the fun stuff where we actually start creating a scene. No, it's Supermax. Wow. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. Got that right. Anyway, um. <laughs> See, back in my day, we didn't have all these fancy gadgets. We just had to walk around the battlefield and crouch when we needed to, and then... It sure is spooky out here. Booyah! Get it? Booyah! Like a scary, scary punk ghost. ghost. 